Hi, my name is Rosalyn Hill and I'm going to be doing another video today but it's quite different from the others. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about where I've been on my journey latch hook crochet. Uh, first of all, this is latch hook crochet, not quite the sorts thing that we've been doing before, bracelets. This is a form of free form crochet. There is no pattern to it but it is latch hook crochet in the sense that it's done with a latch hook and it's also done with uh, only a few basic stitches. So there's no double crochets, triple crochets. It's not traditional crochet as such. It's very different. I'll just put that down and show you some other samples. This is my first ever piece of um, freeform crochet and this was actually done with a traditional hook in a traditional way. So it was done with a, a hook like this. Okay, this, that's a traditional hook. And that's how I made this particular piece of freeform crochet. It's done in a very random way. There are some fabulous freeform crochet murals and works done representing the coral reef and you can see that it's quite, it can become quite 3D in nature. Now this piece is quite specific in the way it's been done. I learned this online with uh, Myra Woods and each of these circles and shapes have a particular name. They're called a scrumble. So that spiral there is a scrumble and there's another scrumble there. The scrumbles are, can be learned how to do those and then you piece them together to make something attractive like that. It's freeform crochet in that it's not traditional. There's no pattern. You just work in whichever way you want. Okay, so that one is freeform crochet. That one was also done with the traditional hook. Now this one it looks very similar to the first one, but in actual fact, it's only just got a few stitches. My basic stitches, which are the chain stitch and the bouillon, which we've done in our bracelets. There's a leaf there done with slip stitch. That's one of my basic stitches is the slip stitch. And there's also the puff stitch there too, this one, the big one. Okay, let's put that down and show you some more examples of that work. Here's another one. It's quite flippy floppity this one, it's got all these fronds on it like we've been doing with our leaves in our leaf bracelet. And there's the bullion as well. And a puff stitch. Now here we've got two others, very very similar. These have been done with variegated yarn, so a similar sort of thing. And there's another one here. This one features my rug stitch, which is quite easy to do with a latch hook. So those have all been done with a latch hook, as opposed to a traditional hook. This is another one of my basic stitches. It's called Tunisian Simple Stitch. You can do it with lots of colours or you just with two colours and here it's just with one colour. And I use that one a lot and the reason for that is because it's so easy to find the stitch. You can just simply go into the side there and it's very easy to use with a latch hook. I have found that it's quite easy to learn how to crochet with a latch hook. Obviously there are limitations on the number of stitches you can use. However at any time you can see the similarity. One has a latch and the other doesn't so at any time you can have a go at doing traditional crochet. There are plenty of videos online how to do that and follow other people's work. And you can make things just with a chain and slip stitch. 
and then go on to make more complicated things. So there's more ideas in, in my book, Latch Hook Crochet for Beginners. In my book, it shows you how to do a brooch. And this is done with your own design. There's lots of opportunity there to, for designing skills too. And I hope you'll join me in some of my playtime challenges too. And there'll be one of those coming up soon. So bye for now. Bye.